New state law proposal aimed at addressing meth addiction is now sitting on the desk of Governor Newsom waiting to be signed into law. That is the hope of the San Francisco state legislator who penned the Senate bill. Ground Force Hazik Madun has the story. We know that as of 2019, a uh, majority of overdose deaths were meth related. Referring to his beloved city of San Francisco, California State Senator Scott Weiner is addressing the drug addiction problem by authoring Senate Bill 110. SB 110 would provide statewide legalization of an addiction mitigation support system used for years in San Francisco called contingency management. Contingency management is providing financial incentives uh, for people to get sober and stay sober. Uh, we know that meth does not have a pharmaceutical treatment uh, to help people get into recovery, like for example, opioids uh, has um, their medications you can take. Uh, that doesn't exist yet uh, for meth. We hope it will one day. It doesn't right now. And contingency management is a proven tool. At this press conference in San Francisco, Senator Weiner also announced that he secured over $4 million that will be used to open an additional meth sobering center so that people using drugs will have another place to go in the city for help with their addiction. Uh, to come down, to, to um, you know, be in a safe space. We have to think about a diverse number of solutions, and it's not one size fits all. Over the years, San Francisco Mayor London Breed has openly shared her experiences with family members struggling with addiction. The last thing that you want to see is someone who you love who is strung out on drugs out on the streets or worse uh, someone that you love die from a drug overdose doing something about it like governor newsom signing sb 110 into law is what the san francisco politicians and public health advocates are counting on uh, which is sitting on governor newsom's desk and we are calling on the governor to sign sb 110 hazik medyun cron for news